Hi everyone, so we're gonna do a quick demo of cupping. I wanted to make three videos to show you the treatment separated. We just did the Wonder Woman facial. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification if you're watching me on YouTube. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. And I'm so excited, thank you everybody. So, she's already cleansed. We just did the Nano Pen, so you'll see a little pinky color. It brings up a lot of circulation. We're gonna apply the peptide repair mask and the squalane to do the cupping, and then we're gonna do the light therapy in a separate video right after that. Excuse my reach here, everybody. But her skin's looking really good from the treatment. We just did it brightened her up. We just added oxygen, but we don't need any more oxygen because we infused it with the nano. So this will feel a little bit chilly. And I was saying in my other video, you kind of want to warn your client when you're going to put a chilly mask on. So let me know if you get a sensation again from the peptide. You said you normally get a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she has like ultra sensitive skin. So um, for her to get a little bit of color and a little bit of sensation is normal, but she's an esthetician. So she knows her skin and she's used these products on herself and on clients for years. So I'm letting her tell me what's compatible because she has also worked for years on skin. So this is the squalane we're putting right on top of that. And this should bring any sensation down a notch, but you gotta have enough product on that you can keep some slip going. And her skin is eating up moisture. Do you think you had enough water today? Um, no, so I don't think so. <laughs> the level at which her skin is absorbing product would be a little bit dehydrated. And that's why I asked her that question. I can tell when people's skin eats that product a certain way that they just needed a, like a little bit more water that day or that week. You know, this was right after New Year's, so we probably had a fun New Year's. People have some drinks. If it's around the holidays and they're, they've had, not to say she did, but if she did, um, your clients around the holidays might be more dehydrated because, you know, they've been drinking and having fun, not paying attention to their water like they usually do. Okay, if we can, I know it's a strange position. Let's see. A little less so that I can do this like I usually do. So usually I actually start with my little cups. You can start with your big cups, but I like to do my little cups now. So first we're sucking the little cup on, which is kind of the pop off method, but make sure if you sucked on a little too with too much pressure you've attached with too much pressure that you squeeze the cup a little bit as it's releasing what you don't want to see is their skin uh, being pulled with the cup when you're releasing then you're going to do so this is the drainage And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm trying to brace the skin a little bit. We're going to have to go from this side. So if you brace the skin slightly, then when you pop the cup off, it doesn't move their skin at all. But sometimes right in the super delicate area, right, you know, near the 
tear duct in the front there, you want to just squeeze the cup to release it, depending on their skin. But the more, the less elasticity they have, the more you want to squeeze the cup to pop it off in this area. And their skin's gonna move, you know, ever so slightly, which is okay. It's just like when you're giving a, a gentle massage around this area, their skin is moving slightly, but there's certain kind of moves that you don't want to do, you know, like sucking onto their skin and pulling it out away from their face. That's not good for their skin. That's still tingling a little bit? Yeah, I'd probably say I'm at like a two. Okay. Some people's foreheads, it's really hard to get right here with the big cup. I still go in again with the big cup, but I like to do some little cups there. And your cups will slide out of your hands because what happens is you clean off your hands and then you start working and you get oil on the cups. So don't worry, just hopefully they don't land on your floor. That's the only time that you have a problem because then you can't use that cup. So if one does fly out of your hand onto the floor, you have to finish up with the one that's clean. <laughs> so her skin is really firm and tight up here. So it's hard to get into that center area. So you kind of use the flicker wrist like when you're doing diamond micro derm and you slide and then you flick the um, the wand off the skin. It's a very similar motion. And don't forget, if you seem like you're on there pretty firmly and it's a little too firm, then you need to squeeze the cup to release. But getting enough of a grip on the skin and making that little popping sound is part of the treatment. So first we're gonna go over the face with this method. Then we're gonna do the drainage. And you can get going on both sides. Just make sure where you need to brace the skin that you're only working on one side. And this is gonna feel, you know, funny to them in a way. So kind of as I get closer to the eye area, when I'm using the big cup, I like to brace the skin a little bit right in front of where I'm popping it off. Give that thin skin around that area, which we all have, a little support. This skin is a little bit delicate here on the neck, so when I'm doing my release of the cup, I do like to squeeze it a little bit on some people. It's all about, you know, is their skin moving a little too much with your cups? And you kind of have to experiment a little bit on yourself and have this done to know what too much feels like. And you never put a cup on and let it sit there or you can leave a mark. So letting it sit means it's usually at least 30 seconds to a minute 
on some people. Okay, now we're gonna do drainage. Is your skin settling down a little bit now? Uh, still at a two. Okay. So she told me that that's normal for having the peptide on and that it doesn't worry her when her skin does that during a facial. Her skin will be totally normal. So on some clients that might mean that something's overstimulating their skin, but on her skin, it doesn't mean that. And you know, a little sensation with active treatments and masks is normal. You know, actives are gonna come with some sensation. So this side, the cut didn't want to go on there. Your skin's too firm. <laughs> How horrible. <laughs> My little esthetician. <laughs> okay. So do really good drainage. Okay, that's our cupping. Let me put the camera back on me. So the best treatment for treating the eyes is cupping, but the best treatment for treating the lips is nano. So when you combine all these, you can see why it's really beneficial. So you would normally moisturize. If it's during the day, you're gonna put on mineral defense with the moisturizer. We're not done with our treatments yet, so we're gonna hit pause and do one more. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, Join me on Facebook if you've not. My group is Esthetician Talk or ET as we like to call it where the estheticians phone home. And if you'd like to go shopping or check out our products, go to www.jessaskincare.com. We'll see you soon.